Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can draw a pumpkin in Desmos. We're just going to achieve it with three ellipses. Starting with one in the center. Let's define an ellipse. X squared plus Y squared equals one. Now let's define a stretch factor. Well, actually, we need one for the x direction and one for the y direction. So divide by a squared. That tells you how how much from the center to the horizontal edge you go by. And this B here is how much along the vertical edge you go by from the center. Now we draw two more ellipses, both of which are going to be offset by an H value. Let's call it one for now. We can always adjust this. So we'll duplicate one of them. And since we're for the left ellipse, you would add H. That is way too close. So let's move it out a little more. And then we need one on the right side. So instead of adding H, you subtract H. Next, we should find where these points intersect. To do that, let's pick on this left ellipse and the center ellipse here. I'm going to find where this point is. We can pull the value minus 1.25 here, but I like to use the exact value in terms of what we have in front of us. So for that, we would set our center ellipse to be the same as our left ellipse. y squared plus b squared both drop out. We subtract x, we subtract this over. Doesn't matter which one you subtract, but let's subtract this one. We can expand this term up here as x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Then we can combine these, these two into one big fraction. So we just subtract this. But when we subtract this, we need to distribute this minus. So this minus gets distributed across. x squared minus x squared. That cancels each other out. Let's split off this, h, this minus h squared over a squared. This a squared becomes irrelevant because if we multiply a squared across, the denominator gets canceled out. Let's add h squared to the other side. We can delete an h from each side. 
then we divide by minus 2 therefore this intersecting point is simply minus h over 2 that makes the other side intersecting at h over 2 positive what this means is we can split this ellipse let's make this a top and bottom we should do this for each one let's start with the top one here I'll color code it to make it easier for you to see we subtract x squared minus a squared to the other side let's take the squared off the whole thing We multiply b over to the other side duplicate it this is this top one is our top half this second one is our bottom half and we know that's now from what we found down here this is going to go from minus h over 2 to positive h over 2 I'll do the same thing on this side subtract this over take the square root of both sides and multiply b over to the other side this is our top half now we need a bottom half and we know that this point here is minus h over 2 so make this x is less than or equal to minus h over 2 copy and paste it to the bottom we, we do the same thing for the green ellipse so you subtract the whole x term over you take the square root of both sides multiply b this is our top half we know that this is going to be greater than or equal to h over 2 duplicate it this is our bottom half now we're going to get a little fancy by converting these into piecewise functions we'll make one that defines the top half and the bottom would simply be the negative of that to make a piecewise function let's call it f of x just so that we can use it again it would say for x being less than or equal to minus h over 2 we're going to use this equation here I know we're going to use this blue ellipse copy it we'll paste it in
and for x that's between minus h over 2 and positive h over 2 we'll use this top red ellipse here and then for x that's greater than or equal to h over 2 Well, we use this green ellipse. So now that we have one f of x defined, we just simply need to call minus f of x to get the bottom half. We then fill this in. So now that we know where's our bottom and where's our top, we can say minus f of x is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to f of x. Just like that, you can see that now we got an outline, and then with not much effort, we get ourselves the rest of the pumpkin, at least the body of it. All right, I've done a bit of tidying by putting everything under one folder called body. Now let's make a folder for the stem. It's going to be... We're just going to simply make it three ellipses. Two for the side, one for the top. Let's go minus x squared. Pick a different color. Let's have the ellipse start off around about here, so let's call it 4. And squeeze this in a little bit. Let's duplicate it. And we'll slide this one over by a little bit. Let's move this to about here. We'll call that about 0.25. More like 0.5. You probably drop this down by a little bit. That's not a little bit. Squish this a little more. And now we can, I'm just going to close it off with one more ellipse. I'll, I'll let you choose which equations you want to close off the stem. So let's, this is also going to be an x squared. Start with plus 4 to see where that puts us. Go slide us to the left by a little bit.
Now I'm just going to steal the intersection values of these two. And for this one, I'm going to go for a minus 0.618 to minus 0 0.091. And this one is from 0 0.06651. up to this value here. We can also call this one in. This is our upper equation. This is our bottom equation. This is going to go f go from around this point down to this point. The top half is this equation here. And then the one in between, we know f of x is the bottom equation. And this is the top equation. And that ranges from this value to the start of this line here. So we need the left value of this one. Alright, so while the stem is not adjustable, the body of the pumpkin is. How do you adjust it? Well, the well the A value controls how how separated each of these outer ellipses are. So I'll move, move them out or inwards. This B value is this vertical is the vertical height or the vertical stretch. They can control like that. And this H value is how much from is how how far away from the center or the offset that these ellipses are. So you can play with these values. If you want the bonus points, you can make your stem adjustable relative to this one here. Other than that, very simple pumpkin. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a like. If not, let me know in the comments on what you could have found more helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.